Uh, I'm Bastien Lavo. I'm I live in Lyon in France. So I started the uh, I started taking interest in uh, electronics with the audio uh, a few years ago, maybe six years ago, six seven years ago. And uh, after I found about glitch art with the Glitch Artist Collective online. And uh, yeah, at some point uh, I heard about uh, analog, analog video and analog glitch, and yeah, it was like the two patient that made made a third patient, <laughs> and so yeah, I, I yeah, I just uh, dived uh, dived into video analog video, and yeah, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so today um, I will be showing. Uh, uh, like this, uh, let me find the cover. So yeah, today we'll be messing with this guy. <laughs> so uh, it fits like this, yeah. So um, first maybe uh, I can talk a bit about uh, circuit bending, video circuit bending. So uh, I first heard about it with the um, um, with the uh, BPMC, uh, Drew Popper. Uh, he's in the the US and he modify gear and like uh, analog gear and also digital video mixers and such. And there is a uh, Taken Plus in the US also that does uh, some similar thing. Um, then uh, in Europe uh, there is a uh, uh, I will pronounce his name bad, but <laughs> it's a uh, uh, Giske, uh, and uh, he's uh, doing uh, either circuit or so. We can mention Karl Klomp, who is who shared the, the schematic for the famous the dirty mixer, and uh, yeah, and uh, um, so yeah, actually about uh, choosing uh, uh, gear to to, to bend. To, to start with, I think when you're a beginner, it's uh, it's better to start with a simple analog uh, uh, processor like this one, uh, because yeah, you, you can also uh, 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 circuit bend video mixer or anything that can process video actually. But yeah, the the, the analog circuit are much simpler and so it's easier to to uh, mess with and also it's it's not easier to mess with but it's easier with digital to burn a uh, digital ship or something and yeah it can be hard to replace whereas the the the, the component he uh, used here are like uh, are quite common and you can still find some of them there's like this chip that might be a bit specific but then it's uh yeah it's uh yeah <laughs> uh so also about uh, safety, uh, it's better to start with the um, um, with the device that doesn't have an internal power supply. You can see here it's plugged with a, uh, a DC wall wad brick. I can. So like this. Oh, I plug it back. <laughs> So yeah, uh, uh, why do I say it's better to work with a, a wall ward, with something that has a wall ward? Because uh, you can, for example, digital video mixer, they have they usually have uh, onboard uh, power supply, which means you got the main power from the the wall going directly to the to the circuit, and it means you can like get shocked or stuff like that. So better try, better start with a simple like uh, device like this. So. What can we do? Where should we start? <laughs> so, yeah, maybe I can just start showing how the circuit works. So, here we got our inputs video inputs so 
yeah this is the the the, the signal you see in yellow is the 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 um, the inputs of the device and so it's a video signal it's the video signal you can see on the on the tv and the tv tax uh, on uh, actually i didn't explain but i got here uh you can see my hand it's a camera point, pointed at a crt tv and uh on the top on the stream it's uh it's a capture card it's a easy cap and so yeah so i can show you a bit how both perform depending of on what we do and uh so yeah, we got our video input here. Our video output is here. So I said it so it's like the output is almost the, the same as the input because the circuit will process the, the signal. Like I can bring the the cover again if we can read a bit. But yeah, you, you got like a, a fade, so it will basically fade uh, from the signal to black or you can also change it to white. Uh, then you got gain, which will act on the. Uh, actually, gain will be contrast, I think. Then enhance, it's a high pass filter that will like enhance the the um, uh, small details in the picture. And then color, you can uh, cut like cut the color completely. Uh, completely, you will see. And uh, you can get unity, so it's the 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 basic uh, color saturation. And then you can boost it a bit. So. Yeah, now let's see. So in blue, you got the on, on the scope capture, you can see it's the output signal. So maybe I can just uh, have them. So yeah, this is uh, in yellow, it's the input and in blue, it's the output. Have them line, so. Oh shit! Sorry, <laughs> the right uh, and uh, maybe I can just the uh, input, and so we only see the outputs. So yeah, this is like uh, this is uh, one line of our video signal. So the line uh, the line starts here until here, and the other it. Then it go to another line. So the the um, we look at the video at the same time of the I mean the capture and the the TV that is filmed. Uh, you can see that yeah this is uh, corresponding to the yellow, uh, cyan, uh, green, pink. Uh, I mean magenta, uh, red, blue, and then there's a bit of black, but we cannot see it into capture. So yeah. Basically, if uh, I cut the color here, you can see that it acts on the. I like cut them completely. <laughs> As you can see, the the TV uh, on the bottom got almost uh, it almost black and white, but there's still a bit of um, a bit of color at the mostly at transient, and uh, so yeah, the, those filter usually doesn't cut color really well and you can see on the the capture card which is at the top it's like doesn't yeah it doesn't react to the <laughs> to the the color saturation and yeah maybe because inside it amplifies the signal a lot to drive like uh, if the, the the signal is poor and you yeah so so yeah this hacked on the color saturation so yeah <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is the fade to black, and you can see that the the now the straight line, hey, <laughs> uh, the, the 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 straight line is the the black level, and so yeah, if I switch uh, this switch is a uh, fade to black, and then I can fade to white, and now you can see no, we cannot see super well. Yeah, and the fade doesn't work super well on the easy cap also. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you got here. Now we got a completely white picture, so the the white part is here. So yeah, basically for black and white uh, video, it's uh, 
it's the the top level here will be the white and here the the, the bottom part is the the black level so this is how the the here you can have like all different shades uh, of gray but for example if i uh, here i'm inputting a color signal that is and the color is removed by the um, uh, by the the circuit we we're seeing and actually i can input uh, i can white video directly so you can see Yeah, now it doesn't So uh, yeah. So now it's a yeah completely black and white signal. So yeah, let's back the. Oh, we don't. Yeah, because I'm using uh, a reflex camera to film, and yeah, every twenty minutes or so I need to start it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Mm, okay, so yeah, we've seen. Oh, yeah. It's, so yeah, we've seen this. This one that acts on the color intensity, the sat color saturation. This one is sharpness. It might not be really obvious on a color bar, but yeah, it boosts. Oh, it boosts the eye frequency. We'll see uh, later. I will put another. Um, another source, another video source, and so yeah, and then this is the gain, so it's uh, it's contrast because it's like the difference between uh, the the top part of the picture, which uh, the top part of the signal, which is white, and the the black, and so yeah, here is like the maximum range I can have, so you will have like more color difference, uh, brightness difference between the the lowest part and the the darkest part and the brightest part, brightest parts. So yeah. So now, yeah, if we for circuit bending, it's good. It's good to have like a basic understanding of how the circuit work, and so we can, I can, yeah, start with the, for example, the power supply. Here you got the. Get this. So yeah, this is uh, the input power supply. So I will try to. <laughs> oh shit, camera. Uh... See that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe it would be better like this, and I would just point the. So yeah, so this is the power supply input, the power supply part. So you got the 12 volts uh, coming, uh, uh, coming uh, a DC jack. It's 12 volts, the input, yeah, and just behind usually have a power regulator. So this, uh, this guy here. to stream but yeah it's it says so yeah one good thing when you're doing circuit bending is uh is uh yeah looking at data sheets <laughs> and yeah for example here uh it's a uh, regulator yeah it'll work can you hear me I heard like a audio or something. Okay, right. 
so yeah, so what I was saying is uh, yeah, reading, uh, finding data sheets because yeah, it can be helpful to to understand the circuit. Yeah, tr I'm trying to uh, focus, but it's still hard to read. So it's uh, 7808. So usually you just go to uh, on Google and type uh, here exactly. It's L7808 uh, CV. And uh, yeah, it can type data sheet. Oh yeah, you cannot see my screen. Oh, it's okay. I can just find the data sheets and uh, And here, yeah. again, up. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, actually, it's good. It's back. Uh, yeah, maybe I would just. Uh, yeah, because I need to restart the stream to uh, disable. I, I it also lags on my computer, so yeah. So let's see. Okay, yeah. Let's see you in a second. <laughs> 